Legal battles? Now that's a horse I can straddle. I'm here to turn your legal beefs into cattle, aka cash cows. It's me. Nall Williams, and I'm here to take on all your legal troubles. Yeah, it appears my fax machine is broken, so we'll just go ahead and use my computer. As I stated, I am the hammer of the law, and it appears my first client is having some trouble with their contractor. 11 years ago, my general contractor built my house and used lower grade materials than what I was charged for. They are now failing and are very expensive to replace. Do I have legal recourse? Let's make sure we understand what's going on here. You paid for a house to be constructed and they overcharged you for the materials that were used for the home. That's America, baby. I don't know what the f you're mad about. No case. Next. Groomer lost my dog. Well, I think you should address the other part. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, yesterday while I was being molested. <laughs> Did that get the joke across? Yeah. All right. Long story short, yesterday at 12 p.m. I went to a groomer. Well, you shouldn't go on your own. All right. Let's keep reading. Oh, a dog groomer. My bad. <laughs> Isn't that illegal too? Long story short, <laughs> yesterday at 12 p.m. I went to a groomer I used before. She used to work out of her home, but now she works at her own shop. I took my dog Ace and went inside the building. There was the entrance door, a small gate for dogs to be behind, and behind that, the grooming table. She had me sign an information sheet that only asked for my name, pet's name, vet, and to sign if any emergencies, if she's able to call the vet for assistance. 20 minutes after I left from there, I get a call saying that Ace ran off the table and out the door as the boyfriend took the trash out of the front entrance. I rushed over as quickly as possible, but at that point they had no eyes on him. They helped me look for the dog for like three hours, uh, but went on with their day and they said they would call the shelter in the morning. It's going on the next day and my dog is still missing. I feel as if, even though she tried helping, she is still liable. Ace's family and the fact that he was lost and it was out of my control. Okay, here's the first thing you need to do. You need to go back to high school. You need to go read a book. That's what you need to do. You need to learn some punctuation and basic, you know, grammatical structure. Your dog's gone. <laughs> we'll see you next time. But you are right about one thing. Ace is family. A's up. Shout out Austin. <laughs> oh my God. Framed by my sister for her crime. Without looking at the file, kill her. <laughs> With kindness. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Then steal her husband. Are you enjoying this video? Good, because we're taking a break to thank the sponsor of it. BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just have to answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. From there, you can talk to your therapist whenever you want, however you want. Text, chat, phone, or video call. It's really up to you. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. And if you feel your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason at all, you can change therapists at any time, no additional charge. So if you've been thinking about therapy, maybe you're looking for some ways to develop some coping skills or ways to kind of balance out your life, then BetterHelp might be the vehicle for that. And you can sign up right now by going to betterhelp.com slash Noel Miller. And if you do so, you'll get 10% off your first month by clicking my link. That's betterhelp.com slash Noel Miller for 10% off your first month. All right, let's get back into this riveting piece of media. Okay, potential ramifications for taking an online proctor exam <laughs> naked? <laughs> Can I face legal trouble if I am completely nude when I take an online proctored exam? Well, I mean, he's checking your balls, so I don't... <laughs> proctored exam? Isn't that when you bend over and cough? Prost... My fault. That's my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, you're a woman. Whoops. I disagree with the proctoring software chosen by my university and my concerns have been met with pompous attitudes. I will be in my home and supposedly the software will only send the video footage of me if I'm flagged for cheating, which I do not plan to do. My university is located in Wisconsin and is associated with badgers. Well, now you just let us all know that someone's going to have their jugs out when they're taking an exam next week. Oh, look at this dork ass response. Well, that would constitute sending intimate representations of yourself, which is a felony. Free the nipple, my guy. If you do this, I, I would say the whole of America would say, let him hang. Do your thing. But you will be considered a sex offender. So 
Hey, but price you pay, man. Jugs out, get the A, tuck them in, working at Waffle House. No, honestly, this isn't even my realm of expertise. I don't deal with clients who make less than 20000 a year, so... <laughs> Sorry, you have to take that shit to the uh, counselor or whatever. You pay tuition, right? They got some free resources out there. Go talk to that free lawyer up there. You know, just tell them exactly what you told me. Hey, I want to take my online exam with the cans out. They'll let you know. High school fundraiser refuses to supply grand prize Taylor Swift tickets. Well, your first mistake was going to high school. <laughs> my daughter won two Taylor Swift tickets through a high school fundraiser they held a couple weeks ago. When I asked about the tickets, the school said they weren't able to provide them and that it was actually a student that promised to provide them. This was done through a school club. In response, they said they would refund my daughter's $2 donation. Yay. This was a huge event at the school and she's obviously crushed. Students and staff all participated in the event and it was big news when she won. As far as I can tell, this is blatant criminal fraud. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. I'm the lawyer. I'll let you know when something's blatant criminal fraud. The school collected money on the grounds that there was a prize, and the prize never existed that we know of. Not sure of the amount raised, but my guess is that it was in the thousands. Students and staff participated in the event. What are our legal options moving forward? I've contemplated going to the press, but don't know if that's the right move at this time. She's a great kid. Unless well, that's your opinion. <laughs> On the honor roll, and she lost someone very close to her during the pandemic. So we all did. I want to hold someone accountable for this. Now your motivations are clear. Here's the thing. Your daughter is a child, and she's owed nothing. In the eyes of the law, a child is owed at most supervision that they are not loose and out in the world and that they can return, you know, your thing at three o'clock when you go to pick them up outside of that you got to break the news um and you can't teach your kid that when uh capitalism strikes her in the face that it's time to sue because you ain't built like that you're not even prepared you don't have the money to be suing everyone left and right like that <laughs> no i'm kidding you should sue taylor swift and i can do that for you we can start a class action matter of fact i take it back let's do a class action against the school 55 million let's take them for all they're worth huh then we'll have infinite taylor swift tickets my fee is 30%, but that's neither here nor there. So round up your folks. We're going to burn the school to the ground. We're going to get recourse for everyone that put dollars into this Taylor Swift ticket. And, and if we don't get the money uh, in a timely fashion, then we'll take this to Taylor Swift and we'll, we'll sue alongside Taylor Swift to the school. Is that what you wanted to hear? You have no case. Get out of my office. <laughs> oh, here's a great one. Wannabe TikToker classmate is making me and other classmates sign NDA. Now, let's, let's, let's start here, okay? I have an initial question off the jump. Who are you to call someone a wannabe TikToker? Don't you just have to make an account? Don't you just have to... And then you are? Anyway, as the title says, a classmate of mine in college oh, is making me and all his classmates sign an NDA. I and most of my classmates don't want to sign it. Can I be forced to sign? For context, he's a TikToker and scared of being canceled. I already signed an NDA about disclosing personal stuff with my college and I feel like my classmate's NDA isn't necessary. If I do say something about him, that's not libelous. Can I still be sued for breaking an NDA that I never signed? What? Are you sure you're in school? Are you sure you're learning anything? Maybe you should just work at like a toll booth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people come, they hand you the number, you look at the screen, it tells you what to give back. It's simple. Then you're limited to just the necessary things, how to get home, how to get to work, how to feed yourself, you know? <laughs> a man at a bar used my phone to Venmo himself. <laughs> like this was having a conversation with a seemingly nice guy at a bar last night we talked for 10 or 15 minutes again he seemed like a nice dude it was crowded so i wanted to go find my friends he, he then asked me to follow him on instagram and subscribe to his youtube usually i'm very good and cautious of people but i let my nicer side get the best of me he was tall he took me she, she didn't say that <laughs> he took my phone for 45 seconds and gave it back to me 10 minutes later i got an email from chase he venmoed himself 400 bucks <laughs> so obviously i'm very upset over this and i guess i don't know what to do from here i'm trying to dispute the charges with my bank but they're still pending i opened up a dispute with venmo as well and filed a police report with the information i did have on him am i screwed what's the likelihood i actually get my money back i've not dealt with something like this in the past not sure where to go from here He's got game. 
We have to give him that. We we have to give him that, but we don't have to give him that uh, and the $400. Listen, I got a couple black hat buddies. We can find this guy. We can, fi- we can, we can find him. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, what if I told you off the record? We could take your 400 and turn that into 4,000. Little six letter word I like to call ransom. Now, see, my paralegal brings up another very important point. We could string them up, get that 400 back, turn it into 32,000. <laughs> A little friend of mine I like to call double zero. Oh my God. I'm just telling you, I got a hot hand. <laughs> I ain't never crapped out. I take crafts, but I don't crap out. <laughs> so your call, you let me know what you want to do. I'm apparently getting fined $5,000 for asking a woman to show her service dog's papers at my job. My manager told me to. What happens if I refuse to give her the 5K? I only have 6K to my name. This happened at 9 a.m. I got served papers at 2.45 p.m. My manager told me to ask the woman if it was a service dog because it was jumping on the counter and acting like a, quote, regular dog. I'm in my 20s. This woman appeared in her 60s. She said the dog's vest was, quote, at home, and by law, she can sue us for asking for service dog papers. Listen. She's old. What are the chances she even lives through the case? Roll the dice. Let her sue. Um, what I can tell you is um, I can make this go away for $4,000. Hey, what would you rather be? Would you, do you want to be out five? Or would you rather be out four? Let me know. Time's ticking, by the way. You're due in court in 72 hours. <laughs> Hold on one second. So I'm just going to ring my guy down at the courthouse. Chucky, Chucky D, how's it hang? Look, remember that old lady I kind of, you know, kind of got in cahoots with? Yep, yeah, the service dog one. Yeah, um, so I got someone in here asking me for my services. I'm gonna try to push for four. If I get 45, I'll cut you in. My man, thank you so much. Yep, I'll text you that address, perfect. Thank you everyone for watching. Remember, if you're ever in legal battles, let me turn that beef to cattle. Let's make some cash cows. It's me, Nall Williams. I'll see you very soon. And by the way, if you need legal advice, shoot me a line at bettercallnall at gmail.com. I charge. For time, for time. Email's free. All right, guys, see you soon. Come here to play, now I came with a plan. I'm the star inside my circle, I'm the pentagram. Whoa, whoa. Making sacrifices just to get the lamb. Oh, oh. I'm trying to see how fast that hurricane go. Eyes burning, no sleep, hustle is OD.